It's a new day for food truck operators in the city of Blaine. As Mike Johnson reports, city council voted to lift restrictions owners felt made it difficult to operate in the county's largest city. Sounds good. Come on in. Chris Page owns PJ's Grill Food Truck, known around the metro for all kinds of specialty hamburgers. So we do a lot of different varieties of burgers. We do, uh, we have a Reuben burger that has corned beef and sauerkraut and Thousand Island and Swiss on a pretzel bun. Uh, we do a Euro burger. Although he lives in Blaine, he says the old rules in his hometown were so restrictive, he's only set up in Blaine a couple times in the last few years. Page says a new ordinance changes everything. I can finally start reaching out to local businesses again, um, start working on setting up and being able to serve the public, being able to serve my community in, in the town that I live. I mean, that's, that's huge for me. That's a, that's a really big deal. It's, it's very odd to have a business that you can't operate in your own city. One problem was food trucks were considered transient merchants, which put much of the city off limits. That made it very restrictive for them because they're only permitted in industrial zoning districts. So it made it challenging for somebody like Harley Davidson, who had a customer appreciation event, who's in a commercial district to have a food truck. So that was one of the main uh, pushback items that we heard from people wanting to operate a food truck is just how, how pro or, uh, prohibitive our existing ordinance was. Another challenge was the license that Blaine required when food trucks are already licensed by the state and the county. Now only an annual registration is required. The city wanted to make it easier. It really has taken Blaine from one of the most restrictive uh, food truck ordinances in the state to a model that I think really the entire state could copy. Any city in, in the state could copy this and, and could find a, a great balance between supporting their community and supporting small business. The old rules were written before food trucks enjoyed the popularity they have now. So as food trucks became more popular, it made sense for us to take a look at our ordinance and see where we can allow them in additional areas of our city to uh, make them successful. It still doesn't mean they can park anywhere and sell to the public. Eric Thorvig says they have to be tied to some type of event. Well, hopefully we see a lot of food truck activity in our community. I know there's a lot of businesses that have events where they want to have a food truck to, to serve their employees or their customers. Uh, people have various parties in our city parks, so we really hope that we can bring a new option for people to enjoy food in our community. Now, Chris Page hopes to establish his name and truck in the community where he lives. With the change in ordinance, planning for next year is underway. You know, we contribute to the local culture. We bring people in that help stimulate the local economy. Expect to see more of them in Blaine next season. For North Metro TV News, I'm Mike Johnson reporting. Page told Mike he's already reaching out to new customers in Blaine. He said other operators are excited to do business there as well, and he expects to see a boom in food trucks in 2022.